What's up guys, Steven Ducks here. Uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, statistics. So I get a lot of inquiry about people in the comments below that they're saying, how about you show us uh, one of your uh, template of how to really track statistics. And uh, today I'm gonna give a very intro level of how to really track statistics and, uh, and the concept of statistics and why we're tracking it. Number one, tracking statistics can give you massive confidence for you to be able to place a trade in the stock market. You will know how much you will win and it's laid out and uh, when you go into a trade, you will know you will win. There's this 80% the chance you can win this trade, 20% of the chance you can lose on this trade. So it's very obvious and when you get into a trade and you're seeing uh, your uh, unreal lights going up and down, and negative or positive, uh, sometimes it can give you a really emotional decisions. Let's say if you place a trade and it barely hits your maximum loss, but it didn't really hit your maximum loss, on statistics, it didn't really tell you that you should cut your losses, but in your emotion, you say, okay, I'm fear of taking this loss and, and uh, it might both go bigger, so I will just cut it right now. And as soon as you cut it, the stock just went straight down or straight up, uh, goes the direction of what you expected, and you will get more emotional, since after that, you will make emotional, pretty much like chain reactions, then you will make mistakes again and again. That is the original reason why I track statistics. Also, by tracking statistics, you can invent a couple new different details and add into a pattern that can significantly increase the pattern winning percentage, like the layer resistance, double the entry top, all the complicated stuff in our uh, DVD that was invented by tracking massive statistics. So uh, if you're a beginner, you have nothing to know about statistics. This is a really good video for you to get into it and hopefully you guys can enjoy this. And here I'm going to give out some simple concept how to really track statistics, how people really invented statistics and how you can use statistics to apply into a certain strategy. All right, so let's give a very simple example. So breakout strategy. A lot of people are heard of this name. Breakout is basically that stock are stuck in at the same level and for, let's say for two months. And one day the stock decides to break out through this large consolidation and we call that a breakout. So when you see this type of pattern comes up, then a lot of people tend to buy and they want to sell at a higher price. So basically you buy into, as soon as it break through this consolidation right here, then you sell when the stock goes to a certain price and whatever your target is. That's how breakout strategy works. Now let's apply into very simple statistics into it. So number one, let's say I want to track, okay, where I can enter. Because let's say when the stock breaks out at a certain time. So I want to see when did it break out. So I can track that um, stats. Now secondly, I want to track how far did it break out. So sometimes when you buy a stock, let's say as a beginner, we all bought a stock before. Uh, let's say I bought at 2 and the stock went to 3 and I sold at 2.2 alright and the stock keeps going going to 3 I feel FOMO I feel I'm missing out something because uh, I missed out all that 70 cents or what if the stock goes to 10 you will feel like you missed 8 dollars and you will think about well how much money I, uh, did I actually miss and you will feel more emotional you will place you know, emotional trades that's how you really take a loss so uh, now second you want to track how far so in average, let's say you track uh, 10, 20 samples, and in average, they go up about 20%. Now, as soon as you track one, let's say most of the breakout happens in the morning and, and uh, it happens at 11 o'clock. So next time, when you go into your market, you will know, okay, so I will need to pay attention and look for 11 o'clock, and as soon as the stock breaks out, I'm looking for 20% uh, from this uh, original level, so let's say uh, 2, and I'm looking at, let's say average is 20%, so 2 times uh, 0 0.2 plus 2, so I'm looking for uh, 0 0.4, and I'm looking to exit the stock. So in this way, you're looking at the statistics, because out of 20 samples, that all the average lands around 20%. Even though you miss, let's say 3, 4, 5%, you will be still feel comfortable, because you're using statistics pattern was invented by people and the people are trading in the market they are trading for so long they will see some type of uh, reactions that can happen multiple times then they can see a certain actions that does the same thing over and over again so we call that repetitions and repetitions is basically stock performs the same way over and over again 
So the longer you practice, the longer you get into the stock market, you will know, okay, I will know the certain patterns and I will know what they generally drop to, what they generally spike to. If you track statistics, let's say artificial entry will be at two. And as a human, we're, in, we're, we're human. So we're not that perfect, we're not machines. And our entry will be, let's say 1.8. We are 20 cents from, let's say the computer generated the entry and we're 0.2 away from it. So next time we can say, okay, I typically size in 0.2 or under the artificial entry. I'm going to improve myself. I'm going to try to size in at 1.9, getting closer to that too. When I want to exit the start, they say I want to exit at five. As human, typically we only get around 4.2. So after tracking enough statistics, you will find that I want to get closer to this five uh, because that's where the perfect exit is. After you practice so many times, your entry and exit will get slightly better and better and better. That means that you can maximize your reward. So when you are improving your entry, when you are improving your exit, you can see a large difference. At the beginning, you won't see as much. At the very beginning of my career, I don't really track statistics. After I track it, my reward increased about 15% per trade. So that's uh, significantly different. And uh, let's get into how to form Excel sheets. Let's see, we have a large Excel sheets. Now I'm going to give a simple one, not a super complicated one. You can use this to start how to really track statistics and how to really track a certain pattern. So we're going to have certain rows, just very, very beginner level. So first I want to track the perfect entry. Second, I want to track what is my average entry. So yourself, then I want to track the perfect exit. I want to track yourself exit, average exit. So yourself again. And uh, entry, let's say perfect entry will be two, you will be 1.5, uh, exit will be say three, you will be 2.2. You can use two minus 1.5, divide by 1.5, you can find that you are certain percentage away from the perfect entry. Now you can use three minus 2.2, divide by 2.2, you can find your certain percentage from the perfect exit. So when, once you find a certain percentage, you can use this percentage to apply into any type of stocks that you are trading this specific pattern to be able to get the best risk reward. So next, what we wanna track is, uh, so it, we'll say here will be samples, and this is how many tickers it has. Tickers, uh, let's say A, B, C, D, uh, B, C, D, E. This row will be the tickers, and once the pattern performs, uh, do you have win or loss? So if it's a win, you put a W. If it's a loss, you put a loss. Once you have, let's say, in the stock market for a pattern to be reliable, you need at least 100 samples. Uh, out of 100 samples, 80 of them win, uh, 20 of them lost. Once you have that, you can calculate, okay, well, the winning percentage is 80%. So once you track different patterns, different patterns will have different winning percentage. Some of them have 75%, some of them have 90%. Now. When you wanna increase your size, let's say you wanna build your uh, account where you wanna uh, make more money, more aggressively in the stock market, and you can use this based winning percentage to increase your position size. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, for a higher winning percentage, you can size in, let's say average sizing will be $1,000. You wanna, so if the stock can win nine out of 10 times, you can size in $5,000. As, as long as you have a certain maximum losses. For myself, the higher the winning percentage the pattern is, I will size in more based on the winning percentage. So that's how I really use statistics that to really help me build a system that can give me a really specific sizing method. So the reason why people keep losing money in the stock market, they're thinking stock market is a scam, they, they go in and they think all type of different market are a scam. Once you track statistics, you will know exactly how much you will win, how much you will lose, what is the maximum reward. So do your own research and start tracking all different types of stocks and uh, you will know by yourself, uh, does this market is actually a scam or not? Is any other mentors out there, is, are they a scam or not? Because you can go in and test their patterns to see if they work. So if it doesn't work, then it's a scam. If it works, then it's a guru. And it's very simple. Now let's get into people why keep losing money in the stock market. We have different market cap zones. So let's say we have a 10 million market cap. Uh, market cap means stock basically worth 10 million in the stock market. 
For this stocks to increase 100%, we need another 10 million. For 10 million stocks to increase 100%, but what if we have 1 billion? Then we need 1 billion to add in this ticker to make the stock increase another 100%. Now, when I see people trading all different market caps, they are trading like a 10 million market cap, they are trading uh, 200 million market cap, sometimes they are trading a 10 billion market cap, and you will know each of the ticker or each stocks will react differently because there is certain amount it can pour into uh, the ticker. Let's say 10 million gets poured into a 200 million market cap, you only got, it's not gonna spike that much, you only gonna spike 5%. Uh, 10 million pour into a 10 billion market cap is gonna spike less than 1%. 10 million pour into a 10 million market cap it will spike 100%. So now people are just getting to the stock market, they are realizing, okay, level two, uh, what is level two? Uh, how to really read level two? Let me just give you this straight up. Certain market cap will have completely different level twos. Their size will be different, reaction will be, will be different. 10,000 shares in the level two on the bid, will be much different when it's a 10 billion dollar market cap. If it's 10 billion, then 10,000 doesn't mean anything. Like it's just a small size. But if it's a 10,000 bid on a 10 million market cap, it's considered a decent size. So level two will be different. When you are trading multiple market caps and we are trading all different types of stocks out there, if you are trading all different caps and you don't have statistics on each different market caps, then you will lose because you don't know react, what's the reaction behind all these type of tickers. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, overall statistic courses. I usually don't give out all those information. So uh, make sure to take notes. If you want to learn more about statistics and learn more about patterns, go ahead and click the link below. We do have several courses available. Thank you very much and hope you guys enjoy your day.